everybody. Welcome back to the House of Floss and Fluff. My name is Carrie. Today is Friday, August 17th, and I think it's been about five weeks since my last update. So yeah, I'm really out of practice. <laughs> so we're going to see how this video goes. Um, honestly, I haven't, we haven't really been doing anything special in the last five weeks. It's just been regular everyday life things. My husband's been working overtime a lot, so he's been really busy. Uh, I've been working on the sh in my shop and stuff, and then just life, and I swear. I have been saying that I'm going to record a video for like the last week and a half, and every single time I sit down to do a video, something happens. And I don't know, whether it's a sick dog, or I'm sick, or our air conditioner <laughs> like decides to break, and we, uh, yeah, anyway, crazy. But here I am, we're gonna, we're gonna do this today. So, I hope everyone had a fantastic July hope you guys are having a terrific August. I do wanted to say a quick thank you to all of my subscribers, um, my new subscribers, my ones that have been with me since day one. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And you know what, guys? I just love getting your comments and seeing the thumbs up on my videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going to dive in because my table is covered, my couch is covered. It's been five weeks. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm going to start with Punch Needle because uh, I have been doing some punch needle. So I have a couple finishes. Uh, so, first one, this one I showed you guys back, I think I had started this back in June, and I had set it aside, and I finally went ahead and pulled it out and finished it. So this is For You, it's from the 2018 spring issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. Uh, so yeah, the last time I showed it, I just had a little bit, I just had some of the background to do, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to get back to it, but I'm glad it's done. Love the little buttons um, for the flowers, for the heads of the flowers. I think that just is adorable. Really, really happy with how my lettering came out on this one. Um, I'm still, I still consider myself a beginner when it comes to punch needle, and I think lettering for me is one of the most difficult things to do. It, uh, in the punch needle arena, so I'm really happy with how it came out. So I will say though, I always, I usually always buy separate floss for my punch needle just because punch needle takes a lot of thread. So I, I try not to use my DMC that I have set aside for cross stitch. And when I get threads for punch needle, I usually put them in a little baggie and then I have a Tupperware tote that I keep, or a Rubbermaid tote, I'm sorry, Tupperware, I don't know. Rubbermaid tote where I keep all of my punch needle things. And I did not have a little baggie for this piece. And so I don't know if I got the blues completely correct. You can see this is a little bit darker here. So I think I grabbed some of the wrong blue color. But I still like it. I think it turned out really cute. So I'm going with it. And then my plans for fully finishing it is actually to use this picture that we picked up. Uh, we went to the antique store. Uh, towards the beginning of August, which I totally forgot to even mention, at the beginning of August, we also celebrated, my husband and I celebrated our 15th wedding anniversary. So I have a picture here. This is actually from our, this is our engagement photo. I thought I'd show. So there's our engagement photo. <laughs> so from, this was taken about 16 years ago, if you can believe. So yeah. So my husband was actually home on our wedding anniversary, which does not happen all the time, not with his job, so it was, it was really nice. We had a nice day. Um, and our son was actually out of town. He um, was staying with my aunts for uh, about a week, and so he was gone, and so we had the house to ourselves. It was really nice. And we went to the antique store, and I got this little cute little picture, and so I'm going to go ahead and finish this and mount this onto here. And this is magnetic, so I can go ahead and just put a magnet on here, and then I can switch it out uh, for, you know, different times of the year and whatnot as I want to. So that's the plan anyway. We'll see. I start out with all these grand plans of what I'm going to do, and then, you know, it changes. Okay, so my other punch needle finish. So this is a cute little mermaid. This is from Doodle Dog Designs on Etsy, who is one of my favorite punch needle designers. I did go ahead and change all of the colors on this. The reason I do that is I try to get my floss locally, which would be my Walmart, and they unfortunately do not carry you know, a full set of DMC, so I try to use what I can. But I think she came out really cute. The only part I'm not super happy with is that I chose a little bit of a darker skin tone, 
and her nose and lips, I, know you, I don't know if you can even see it, her nose and lips ended up a little bit too light. So they kind of fade in, but they are there. She does have a nose and, and a mouth, but... So, and I, I'm sure I'll end up punching this one again, but she'll get turned into a little pillow at some point. So, okay. So those are the two finishes that I have, and I do have one more piece. And I also have, a, I'm going to show, this video is going to be, I think, a little bit of everything. It's going to show punching nail cross stitch purchases, everything's going to kind of be mixed in. So, my major purchase, <laughs> so this is my anniversary and birthday present. This is a gripper frame from the Old Tatter Flag. I have wanted one for probably the last four months. I just absolutely, this just makes life so much easier. Um, and though it is taking, I will say, I love it, but it's taking me a little bit of getting used to just in the way that I punch, in the way that I've learned, but I'm getting there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off, and I'll show you guys. Can you hear it? Yeah, so the grippers, they work really well. <laughs> it's brand new, so they work really well. Okay. So my current piece, this is my current punch needle piece. So this is from Not Forgotten Farms. This is called Love Shack. So that's the front of it. It's super cute. I really like this. And then you can see the back of it. So you can kind of see what it's going to all look like once it's together. But I'm very happy with how this one's coming out. So I really like that one. And I'll show you. So this is what the gripper frame looks like then. Cool. I like it. It's really, like I said, it's really nice. I'm glad I went ahead and got it. Just a little bit of learning curve when it comes to the actual punching. I'm used to, normally I work with, I've been working with a Morgan hoop. Um, and I tend, I like the 7 inch hoop. So I go from a little seven inch hoop to this, yeah, it's a learning curve, <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So let me just, let me just fold that up real quick and set it aside. Okay. So on to cross stitch up first. Um, I actually have some fully finished pieces. So first piece is, well, we'll just grab. Okay. So this one is a Barbara Anna. So this is from the... 2017 summer issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. I don't remember the exact name of this. I just have always called it the bird. <laughs> so but I love this. I stitched this on a 28 count Jobelin that I coffee tea dyed. I so I'm trying to think now. Okay, so the flower or the leaves here, the stem, the stem and leaves. There we go. I did those in two different hand dyed threads, kind of a greenish brown and a darker green and brown. And then the actual bird, I stitched in DMC, but not the called for DMCs. I switched it out a little bit, but I really, really like how he came out. And then this is just kind of a mini, the mini grapevine wreath that I found at Walmart. And I'll show you guys the back. It's not impressive, <laughs> but I just, uh, I just stitched it right onto the wreath like I do with my um, twig frames. So, came out pretty cute. I just kind of did it loosely. It's, it's not on there super tight because I didn't want it to stretch the jobel in too, too much. But I'm really, really happy with how that came out. So, I think that's one of my, one of my more favorite finishes. Okay, just set that. I don't know if I want to set that on I don't know, set that on the gripper frame, that might be bad. <laughs> so we'll just set him back there. Okay, so the next one, another Little Mermaid. Okay, so this is from the Elfin Forest, and I finished stitching this back. Oh, geez. I believe I showed this in my last video that I finished the stitching on it, and I picked out how I wanted to finish it, and I actually did exactly how I wanted to finish it. I don't normally do that. So I went ahead and I burned the edges, and then I just attached it with these little upholstery tacks and <laughs> this is a very thin piece of wood so the upholstery tacks do come through quite a bit on here my husband's gonna go ahead and, and dremel these off for me but it's kind of funny because since there's four of them if you set this up against the wall it actually <laughs> it looks just fine it's kind of funny 
Uh, the only thing I didn't do on this, I said I was going to bead a little bit up here for her crown. I decided not to, to do that. I just, I don't know. The day that I decided to finish these, I just was not feeling, I didn't feel like beading, so I just left it. Um, I still really like it, though. I think it's really cute. So, I think that one turned out really nice. Okay. And then I just finished this one a couple days ago. So this is from Primitive Acorns on Etsy. I finished the stitching. No, oh, jeez, I don't even know. I think back in June, I think, or May even. But I finally went ahead and fully finished it. This one did not come out exactly the way I'd planned. I had actually planned to use the fabric here and do a ruffle around it. But, yeah, that wasn't happening that day. So this is how it turned out. <laughs> and I think I think it's adorable. I actually really like how it turned out. My husband said that this is one of his favorite finishes that I've done. So that's good. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. So, yep, like that one. Okay. So then, the next finish, I don't, I can't get it off the wall. So I'm going to insert a picture right over here of my other finish, okay? And that finish is an American sampler from Willow Hill Samplings. And I stitched it on 28 Count Lugana in Ren from Picture This Plus. Uh, there's only two called for colors in the pattern, and I did switch those. My husband just went ahead and picked out um, a blue and, and a red that he liked. The blue is a Victorian motto sampler thread, and the red is Bordeaux from Weeks Dye Works. And he's the one that fully finished it. <laughs> he he put it on the board and everything, um, and he wanted a really kind of rustic look to it, so he didn't even press the piece or nothing. He just left it with all of its wrinkles and whatnot for me stitching it. And then he went ahead and he, okay, I love my husband. <laughs> <laughs> he's been so supportive of the cross stitch lately and you know he's he's great but he scared the crap out of me <laughs> when he finished this piece because he took sandpaper which I've done this I've taken sandpaper to the edges of my piece so that didn't bother me but then he went ahead and he took sandpaper to the stitches of my piece <laughs> yeah I kind of freaked out but it's okay um, nothing none of my stitches got broke everything looks great still it just um, fluffed him up a little bit, uh, and so it gave him the look that he wanted. He's happy with it, so it's all good. Okay, so those are my finishes. All right, ah, so let's move on to what I've been working on. Okay, so this is, a, again, no particular order. I just kind of threw it all here, and we'll just go as, you know, we'll just grab and go. So I did pull out my Halloween Biscornu from Doreen Jones. I didn't put a lot into this, but there are there is some progress. I think I did some more of the skulls here in the middle. That was kind of the main the main progress that you would probably see. So I don't know why this one is taking me so long. It shouldn't. This should not take me that long. But it just I don't know. I can only put in a little bit at a time, and I just I, don't know, I want to do something else. Okay, so this was a new start. Uh, I don't have an overall picture, so it's going to be, there's not much to go on, I know, from what I've stitched. So this is from a pattern from, hold on, where's the name? Here we go. Alicia Paulson. And basically, it's a big spring flower scene. And so these are the start, this is these uh, leaves of, of a flower, of a bleeding heart, actually, and this is the start of the bleeding heart. And this is being stitched on a 20 account Monaco. This is a piece of Monaco that uh, Candy from Candy Stitches died for me. And I really like this piece, but this one's going to be a hard one for me. It's got some specialty stitches in it. It's got a ton of quarter stitches um, in here. And in fact, this is, I, you probably not going to pick up on it, but there's a ton of quarter stitches already just in this little, this little area here. And I know quarter stitches are much easier, or fractional stitches are much easier on even weaves, but I don't know, I still, I still don't like them. <laughs> I still don't think they look right, so I don't know. But we'll keep, we'll keep plugging along on it. I think once it's done, it's going to be really pretty, so. Okay, and now we're going to dive into the world of Barbara because for some reason I have been working on Barbara pieces like crazy. So this one I started on August 1st. This was a 
stitch along. Um, it's the bad, hashtag bad Halloween sale. And I think I forgot to mention in my previous video when I talked about this stitch along is that you don't have to stitch this Barbara Anna Halloween piece if you're not stitching this one. This one, the one I'm stitching is ready for takeoff. So you don't have to be stitching that piece if you want to participate in the stitch along. Just any Barbara Anna Halloween themed piece. Okay. So, this is my progress. I've actually gotten quite a bit done. I love this piece. <laughs> it is so cute. So I did go through and I changed, I think, almost every color aside from, you know, uh, 310, you know, the black. The white I left the same, and then this peachy skin tone is the same as well. I think everything else I pretty much changed to either Victorian uh, Moto or Color and Cotton. Um, this red here is actually a thread from uh, Hand Dyed by Rolanda on Etsy, but I absolutely love this. It is so cute, and I'm really hoping to have this one done by the end of the month, because I think I'm going to turn this into a cube, so very excited with this one. Um, the fabric is a 28 count Monaco, and again, this is another piece that Candy had dyed for me, um, so yeah, love that one. Okay. So then, all right, so my last video, I had just started working on the Black Cat Hollow, um, which is another stitch along that started on July 13th, so it's Friday the 13th, and I think when I showed you guys this last, I think I had just, like, I think I just had this little part right here. So I definitely have done, I've done quite a bit, but I've put this away now, and I need to pull this one back out because it is so cute and the third and vinyl part has been released of this pattern so <sighs> I don't think I'm going to get it done for this Halloween but I would like to have it finished. And this is being stitched on 28 Count Lugana in Rock Quarry, that's what it's called. And I'm not sure who that's by, it might be a silk weaver fabric but I'm not 100% sure. I know I did get it from Yield Stitchery. And I'm doing this in mostly the Called for Colors. The only thing I changed is this green color, is the two greens. There's two different greens in here. And I did change those. Uh, they're still DMCs. I just changed them. And I did um, over dye the threads in tea or coffee. Coffee. I'm sorry. I over dyed them in coffee. So. Okay. So the next one, I guess, technically it's a finish would be the Liberty Sal, which is still ongoing, so if you want to partake. And that is these cute little Liberty Bowl fillers from the 2018 summer issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. So in my last video I showed you guys I had finished the dog. So he's been done. I This sal started on July 4th, and so I finished him on July 4th. I actually stitched him in one day. And so now... I have finished the mouse. So there's the little mouse. Now, I changed my mouse totally. Uh, in the, he's called to be a brown mouse, and I went ahead and changed him to a gray mouse. And I absolutely, I absolutely love him. I think he's so cute. And I do plan on stitching the kitty pretty soon here. I had actually thought about switching the cat to be a black and white cat. But I really do want to leave the teacup as a white teacup, so I may end up actually stitching him as he's called for. <laughs> I don't know, I don't do that very often anymore, it seems like, but I may just go ahead and stitch that as it's called for. Okay, so this last one, again, still another Barbara Anna. This is from, I believe it's the 2017 fall issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. And it's a little sweeping mouse, I know. A lot of people have done this. This is so cute. So I did, I did change several of the colors in here as well. I let, but I did leave. I left the mouse color is the call for um, this little brown part right here and the brown part of the flower. That is all called for, and of course her dress is a combination of a dark dark brown. That dark brown is a Victorian motto sampler thread, but the black. I left just regular black and the green this bright green this bright green right here 
that is 832, and so I did leave that as well. Everything else, though, the red is a cherry bark, which, is that Weeks or Gentle Arts? Hmm, I don't remember. I just know it's called cherry bark. <laughs> and the gold part is a golden ale from Color and Cotton. The red here, this look kind of a pinkish or purpley red, that is another um, hand dyed by Rolanda thread. As, and so is the turquoise color. That's a hand dyed by Rolanda thread too. And then the inner ear part here of the mouse is a Victorian motto sampler thread as well. So, and I'm stitching this on, this is a 14 count Ada that I coffee dyed. So, yeah. So I love that. I, I think I have an idea of how I'm going to finish this one. And this is another one. This should not be taking me this long. <laughs> I think I've been working on this for like the last five days off and on. Maybe even a little bit longer. I should be done. I should be done. <sighs> okay. That's what I've worked on. So now we get into what I've received in the mail. Purchases and other things. And you guys remember, <laughs> it's been five weeks and my birthday is coming up at the end of September. So my husband has gotten me a few birthday things. So there's quite a bit. Um, okay, so first, some things that have come in the mail. I did participate in the second Great Biscornu Swap, and this was my Biscornu that I got. Isn't that adorable? And I've never had pins like this before. So, these are just so cute. Oh, I just love it. So that was super, super sweet. And then, my July uh, ATC I got from Link is My Homeboy. The theme was um, starts with the letter A. So she made this adorable little alien. How cute is he? Oh, I love him. And then she sent me my first skein of Mo Self Boss. And I will tell you guys right now, this is not this is no longer my only skein of Mo Sail. Yeah, it's a slippery slope. And I have gone down head first. <laughs> so, but it's, yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Heather. Oh, and the cute little card. This is cute. Look at the little bunny. Wouldn't that be a cute cross stitch? That would be a really cute cross stitch pattern. So, yeah. Okay, so those came in the mail. And then, all right, I guess we'll go with what my husband is calling my birthday booty spectacular. And why is it booty? Well, because he bought me the black pearl pattern from Down Sunshine Lane. <laughs> So I am all set for, oops, sorry, I am all set for Link is My Homeboy's birthday stitch along, which is half, you know, I swear, when I don't do these videos, <laughs> when I have these big gaps in these videos, it's like I'm doing them for the first time all over again. Okay, so the hashtag for Link is My Homeboy's birthday stitch along is hashtag L-I-M-H birthday S-A-L, and that'll come up on the bottom here, but we are stitching this piece, the black pearl from the primitive hair. I am so excited. So I said, so my husband bought me that <laughs> as, part, as part of my birthday. And then, I didn't take it out of the package, but Jen was so gracious and so kind. She sent me this piece of fabric, uh, Jamie's Kilt from Fabrics, um, hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. It's a 32 count linen. Oh, it's going to be so cool. So my husband, she had showed us this piece of fabric for another project, and my husband remembered it, and he's like, ask her if, if we can get that from her, if we can buy it from her, and so she very kindly sent it to me. It's just, yeah, so I can't wait to put all that together. Okay, uh, and then, what else? Oh, so my husband bought me this book, and the reason he bought me this book is that he had he saw a picture of a mirabilia someone had stitched where they did the hair uh, in the different um, embroidery stitches. And so he got me this book because uh, I would love to learn how to do that. And so this has, I mean, just tons of information, tons of different stitches in it. And I know it's needlepoint, but, you know, the concept is, is pretty much the same. So I'm very excited for that, too. Okay. Oh. Oh. And the other part, birthday. So I have never had an actual project bag before. I usually use either Ziploc bags or I use uh, the little pouches that you get for back to school stuff for pencils and whatnot. So my husband surprised me and bought me my first project bag. 
<laughs> so this is from So Much to Love on Etsy. And how gorgeous is that? So he went on there and picked it out all by himself. And this is special for the uh, Black Pearl piece. So I have a special project bag for it. So I absolutely love this. And it's just got a very, very pretty, simple fabric. It, oh, it's so pretty. I'm, oh, I just, I got to keep it away from the dog. Because I don't, I don't want dog hair or dog drool on it. Which in my house is like. Yeah, that's like an Olympic sport, trying to keep the dog hair off of things. Okay, what else? All right, oh, so I've been talking about the hand-dyed threads from Rolanda. Uh, and as I said, um, it's been five weeks, so I have to be honest, I did break into some things <laughs> that I bought. I put some things away because I just, I've been trying to keep my house a little bit decluttered or at least less cluttered. So these are the ones that I have not used yet. Oops. And I'm going to drop them all over. Okay. So aren't they pretty? They're just such pretty colors. So she does excellent. She does beautiful threads. So like I said, hand, hand dyed by Rolanda on Etsy. And of course I'll put links and everything below. So very, very, very pleased with those. Um, okay, since I said I went down the rabbit hole with most thread, I went down the rabbit hole, <laughs> big time. So I'm actually thinking this thread I'm planning on using, I believe this is going to be the tail for my Black Pearl Mermaid, and do I have anything, do I have anything white here to hold up? I don't know. It's not like I planned this at all. I didn't. Because every time I planned a video, something happened and I couldn't do one. So, but I think that's going to be really, really pretty for the tail for my mermaid. Okay. And then, I mean, I'll just dump these out. Hold on. Okay. Like I said, I, I couldn't prepare. So, these are, okay. So, this one is Peony. And the purpley one is Blackberry. And then these two are Rust. We're gonna get this figured out. I'm gonna get this, yep. See, I can't I can't go this long without doing videos. Pebbles. lakefront. So this might get used in my mermaid somewhere too. I'm not sure yet. I haven't sat down and gone through all the threads yet. Okay, so we have bark and golden golden rush. And lastly, we have calm river. And there may or may not be some more Moe's thread coming in the mail. I don't know. I don't know how it happens, but it keeps happening. <laughs> okay. So then I ordered uh, from... I made a little order to a shop. Busy Little Bird. Uh, because she is retiring. And so I went ahead and I picked up a few little things. I got some... Oh, and that's going to glare. You know, I should know this by now. Big window in the back, of course, it's going to glare. So I got some of the DMC, the Chlor, you know, the Chloris collection ones. I thought those were really neat. And then I picked up some buttons because I actually don't have, can you believe, I don't have a ton of buttons. But I will say, the disappointing thing, here I'll show you guys real quick, and then I'll tell you guys my disappointing So to use for Bisporn use and stuff like that. So I had found this at my Walmart back probably a couple months ago. Or no, longer than that actually, probably about four or five months ago. And it's so cute because this just pops off and then there's these individual containers. And I keep my buttons in here. And they work really well. It's, these are sealed really tight. And it keeps everything together. So I went to, we were at Walmart this week and I went in and I was like, oh, I really want to get another one of these. So I can put my new, my new collection of buttons away in there. No, they didn't have them anymore. Darn it! So 
So i got to figure out where I'm going to store this collection of buttons. I don't know. If anyone has any good ideas for button storage, let me know. Okay, so I'm going to pause for just one second, and I will be right back. Hey, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so what else do we got here? Oh, I got my order from Stony Creek because I've been getting the Halloween, their monthly, their monthly freebie. So this was July, so of course now I have to dig it August, which is the toad one, so I'll have to do that soon. Since I was ordering, I picked up, I also picked up the button pack. So this is actually the button pack for the month of June. I've been doing it a month behind. And then Nikki's Creations had the Summer Girl pattern. I already, I have Spring Girl and Winter Girl, so now I'm just waiting for Fall Girl, and I will have the whole set. I just love these. I think I actually want to start Winter Girl pretty soon here, because I would like to have it done to display it for this winter. And then I just picked up just a plain old white piece of 28 Count Lugana. I like to pick this stuff up because I really have found, I think my favorite even weave to stitch on is Lugana. And so, and I like to hand dye my own fabrics every now and then, you know. And then I had placed an order with Jen at uh, Moe's Needle and Thread. It was for some threads which I'm using for my Lady of the Flag conversion, and so those have already been, they've already been scattered throughout my house, but I did get this pattern as well. So this is a Nora Corbett, and this is Bewitching Pixies, this is Xena. So my husband, we actually saw some of the Bewitching, oh, I can talk, I swear. We saw some of the Bewitching Pixie patterns when we were at Moe's back in June, and my husband really, really liked them. So he's like, you need to start stitching some of those too. So I'm like, okay, sure, I, I will. So I sent Jen a list of, I don't even know how many, I think maybe seven or eight. And I was like, just throw one in with my floss order. I don't care which one, just pick one. And so this is the one that she picked. So I'm super excited to start that too. Okay, and then last, well not lastly, uh, we come into my Floss of the Months. So this is my Dinky Dyes Nest Egg from Trisha at 3 Owl Threads. And where did I put? <sighs> of course I, have to, I put everything down and, yep, forget. Okay, so we have, this is Aussie Gold. And Aussie Pride. It's really kind of cool variegated. And autumn leaves, very pretty yellow, which I know I'm not a huge fan of yellow, but which, <laughs> this is funny too. I said, I'm not a huge fan of yellow, right? I, but yet, I love sunflowers. Does that make any sense? I don't know. This is Aussie Jewels. That's really pretty. And, okay. I'm just going to say B-A-N-K-S-I-A. -I, I don't know. However you want to pronounce it, but it's a very, very pretty goldy color. So that was that. And then I got, just got these. This is the Victorian Motto Sampler. These are the limited edition ones. So we have Heirloom Rosebud. And Lemon Lime. Wish I would have had this one when I started stitching that Barbara Anna <laughs> Halloween piece. That would have been really cute in there. Uh, Cherry Red. It's very pretty. Quaker Purple. Love the variegation in that. That is so pretty. Covered Wagon. And Kansas Sky. Okay. Speaking of Victorian uh, motto threads as well. So my husband surprised me again for birthday and all that. He went and bought two of her, oops, two of her floss packs off of her eBay shop for me and surprised me. Uh, so I'm going to insert a picture of them here because I have, I opened them and I have put them away because this came quite a while ago. But he got me the Sleepy Hollow 2 pack and the Rocky Mountain Wildflower pack. Oh, they're so pretty. So, yeah. So I got those two. So like I said, there'll be... Hopefully, I will have gotten a picture inserted. So, yeah. Okay, and then lastly... Um, well, I think lastly... Oh, I mentioned we went to the antique store. 
So I went ahead and I picked up another, um, I now have two of the ceiling tiles. So uh, yeah, Michelle Bendy Stitchy had mentioned using these for a Halloween piece. Of course now I can do several Halloween pieces. I hadn't thought about that. I don't know. So thank you Michelle for that fantastic idea. Because I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to do a Halloween piece that's going to go on there. And then speaking of Halloween, we were at shop, or we went to shop, go. we went to shop go today to get my son's shoes. When I was at Walmart, they had some of their Halloween fabrics out. And so these are actually a yard. So I've picked up this one. And then this is the same one, just different colorway. And then I got this one. So, and then I just got a couple of plain, plain Jane orange pieces too. So I'm all set for Halloween stitching. And then last, I swear, I think this is last, I picked up some of these little pocket folders. So this one, okay, this is Velcro, so this is going to be loud. But these are really, I like these for my stitching. And then the other ones, oops. The other ones are just like this. They're just plain, and they just got the, the zippery top on them. But I like these ones because they actually have the bottom where they expand. So I've got these for project bags now. So those are nice. Okay. I think that's everything. I think. Okay. Well, it's going to be everything for today. <laughs> so I hope you guys, again, thank you guys so, so much for taking the time and watching my videos and commenting and all that good stuff. And I hope you guys all have an absolutely fantastic uh, finish to August and into September and just, you know, get lots and lots of stitchy time. And I don't know. I will see you guys when I see you, because who knows right now. Uh, hopefully I can get back to a normal routine once we get back into school, but I'm just, I'm going to try. I'll try and do a video whenever I can. <laughs> so, bye everybody. Thanks, thanks so much.